I've never wore this before. It was a, we got it when we went to visit Battlefield Park. Um, well, I think that was, you know, three kids ago, so. Uh, I like it. it, it's working quite well. But, I wouldn't mind letting, keeping some free range chickens as long as they would all go in the coop or all fit in the coop um, so that they could be pinned up so that we could do a couple of things like feed the horses before we let them out. Um, yeah, because they do do some stuff around the house, but there are also these ones in particular, the, m most of my Lang flock, they come out here and they, uh, I don't know what that is, but they hide out in this brush, which would otherwise be really snaky. And we have seen no snakes. It, it's really cool. Look at these babies. These babies are almost as big as their mama. But she is uh, really nice and compact, so I don't have to be very big to be bigger than her, but I have not determined the sex on any of the babies that I have, which there is uh, eight. Dude, I'm too hot to count. Literally too hot to count. There's eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 babies. There we go. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I couldn't even uh, think that 4 plus 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, and 5 plus 3 is 8, and that's 16. A little hot. I've decided that I need to change. Um, some stuff out here, so I need to clean, get everything scooped up off the bottom here, which there is their droppings, hay they've dropped, and also, um, like the paper feed sacks, I've just thrown those down there, and then the chickens knocked trash, we had like a little pile of trash from, you know, their strings or whatever from our feed bags and different stuff like that, and the so I'll have to sort through it. Or Wendell, if he wants to do this job um, while he's off. He likes to travel around. But I need to, we need to figure out how we're gonna move this big monstrosity of a cage. And um, so I can get some other rabbits, some, uh, some meat rabbits, which I'll, I'll show you them when I got them. Um, after I feed, finish feeding these guys because I watered them, I am going to go in and check on the kids and then I'll come back out and I've been wanting to do it in the evening but it's just not working out so I'm just going to get it done. I'm going to catch all the meat birds that we still have that needed to get larger. Um, they're in the kennel coop catch them, put them in some sort of cage, and I want to do it all at once because every time you open and close that door, they rush it. So, that means I'll have to drag it by myself to the other end and put them in where I had my layers, where the turkeys are at, and there's still a rooster um, and uh, a few other birds. And that's where they'll spend like the next week, um, maybe two weeks, I don't know, just kind of see how it goes, and then I will probably wait until tonight or first thing tomorrow morning and move the guineas, because I really don't want to stress the guineas out, um, but it needs done. There's...
stuff that needs done. Um, sometimes your priorities are one way and, and then things happen and stuff gets shifted. And, uh, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna sell any of these rabbits just yet. I'm gonna wait till the other babies get the same size and then try and sell them all off on one go. And there was some that the kids liked and said they want to keep them. I'm going to see if I can talk them out of them because I don't know. They're, I, I don't know that they're particularly attached to very many of them. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Definitely, you know, not just going to take the rabbits and give them no input on it. Um, Yes, I need to figure out a automatic watering system, like with a big tank and some hoses and stuff, too. Especially if I'm going to add some more, some more rabbits to it. So, alright, I better get to it. One of the turkeys. That's a support for this fence that it was leaning against a tree and didn't get moved. So those are a couple of the rainbow rangers that I wanted to keep and um, maybe raise some of my own. This lady is massive and so is that one. I kept two of them and we will see if I can get them to lay. That's my Marin cross rooster. I'm going to use him to hopefully get some green eggs. He has a limited stay. Um, he, he's not a bad rooster. I just, I've got, I've got enough that I can pick and choose who I really want, and he's not my favorite, so. Don't know exactly what will become of him at this point, but some of the first eggs I plan to hatch should be out of him. That way, that way I can get him gone faster. But yes, I'm gonna put my Delaware rooster in with these ladies. And maybe we'll get some big birds. I don't expect them to grow that fast, but um, the, the babies are raised out of them. So we, we will see. But there's just, as of right now, there's just um, seven birds in this area. A turkey. The trees are hot. And I've got this one, and she keeps laying her eggs and setting on her eggs, and that's Wendell. He forgot. See if I can... he, he forgot. And she's so hot. Um, but yeah, they're not, they're not fertile. And every time I put chicken eggs down there, somebody eats them or something. So, don't know how long I'm going to keep the turkeys with us. We'll just have to wait and see how that pans out. I got one more thing to do before I go in. I just got to go water a couple of plants that are in pots before I forget like I did yesterday. Um, I got the red birds out of the dog kennel coop and they're in a very large cage, which is actually a rabbit grow up cage, and I couldn't move it more than like six inches at a time. So, I'll wait and let Wendell help me. And we'll either put them in smaller cages or carry them one by one or something like that. Um, I cleaned up, moved around some stuff, uh, put fresh bedding down in there so, you know, it's ready. I just um, need to hang up a feeder and fix up some sort of nesting box and roost and stuff for the guineas. And the birds that I just showed you, those, that's where I'm going to put the meat birds for this last week or two. Oh man, it's hot. It feels good. There's a big, big fan over there. Alright, well, that's it, and I'll talk to you next time.